Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Project Ozone 3. Oh, yeah, guys. So we needed a whole lot of Dawnstone at the, la at the end of last episode. So I went ahead and I made some Dawnstone in our smeltery over here, and I'm putting it into the uh, stamper so we can turn it into ingots. Mm-hmm. And we're tick accelerating the ember stuff, so things are going a little crazy here. <laughs> this is actually kind of cool. Uh, it turns out the last time we left off with the ember stuff, we were trying to make antimony. And yeah, we were running low on sugar, but we now have plenty of sugar. Oops, yeah, I had it searched right here. We have plenty of sugar, so I was able to like finish up the, uh, the lead plus the molten sugar that we were trying to do. And... Yeah, that went really, really fast with the tick acceleration, <laughs> which was pretty nice. Anyway, um, now that we have all this Dawnstone, we should be able to look at making Dawnstone seeds and never having to do it that way again, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, I think that's probably the next thing that we want to do here. So if we take a look at Dawnstone... Uh, Dawnstone seeds is a tier 4, so it does require the Superium Essence. Uh, gold seed, copper seed, tier four crafting, and then of course, 18 Dawnstone. So let's go ahead and get that Dawnstone sorted right now so we don't have to worry about that. I believe you have to, yeah, combine it. All right, so now we have the Dawnstone blocks. I was looking over here, I thought I might have made these before, but I didn't see the Dawnstone in here. We do have gold seeds. I don't think we have copper though. Yeah, we don't have copper. We do have gold. Well, why does this show our gold, but doesn't it highlight this one? Do did we actually make <laughs> Dawnstone seeds before? Now I don't know. Uh, I feel like we did not, because I feel like we would have a lot more Dawnstone in the system. Yeah, so we need to make copper seeds. I am pretty sure. I need to go back through these one more time. We need to make copper seeds so we can finish this up. Yeah, I don't see copper in here at all. Okay. So going back to the Dawnstone seeds, let's bookmark these. And then gold is done. Copper seed is a tier two. So that is four copper blocks plus the cup rosia seed. So I guess we got to make that. Uh, and that does have to be a 10, 10, 10. So we are going to need carrot plus Barium. And again, these are 10, 10, 10. I don't think we have, we do have carrot. I lied. We do have carrot and the ferium. We have those. Awesome. Whoop. Yeah, there we go. So both of those are 10, 10 to 10. That's all we need. So I guess we are going to need two copper ores and then one of these. Do we have copper ore around? I'm going to have to go mine that copper. Oh, we do. Perfect. All right. So we should be able to do this. Yay. Give me the copper seed. Okay. So we're able to do that. So now I need to go through and 10, 10, 10 these so we can, uh, let's see. Those go into the regular copper seeds. Yeah. And they have to be fully done here. So we will do like we normally do. I got to take away this and then we have to put some copper ores down below. I guess I kind of forgot to grab those. Copper ores, we need five. Uh, right. I also have the wireless terminal. I don't have to go down there to grab stuff. <laughs> All right, so there is the copper, and then we need to get the dirt, which is this one. Boop, 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 boop. And of course, I need to till it, so we need this thing. A lot of steps to do this. Okay, so now we should be good. Those guys go there. The copper goes here and it's not valid. You can't, the soil's not valid. Oh, this has to be gravel, right? Uses. It has to be gravel. Of course it does. I keep forgetting the tier one version of these seeds use gravel. Yeah. 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 All right. So there we go. There's that. It's the tier two that uses the dirt that we have to till. That's fine. We got it all sorted now. We should be good to go. So there's the copper. It'll grow. And of course, we're going to want to speed this up and make it nighttime. 
Uh, you know what? I did set the tick acceleration over here, didn't I? Let's get rid of this. I don't know if you can split the tick acceleration between two of these, or if it only affects one, or if you have multiple of them going and like lessens the effect. I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go through and 10, 10, 10 these seeds like I do. Uh, need to do that right there. Yeah, it's a little slow at the start, but generally speaking to 10, 10, 10, it takes less than five minutes. So I'll go ahead, get this all finished up and we'll be back guys. All right guys, so a short time later, we are now ready to make the Dawnstone seeds. We have our gold seeds, 10, 10, 10, and our brand new copper seeds, 10, 10, 10. Now, according to the recipe here, it does not show that these needed to be 10, 10, 10. And I think the last time we made a tier four seed, we uh, planted the seed into the ground without crop sticks to get rid of the, um, the agri-craft stats. But yeah, it looks like it works with or without the stats. So anyway, uh, we are good to go. So let's go ahead and make ourselves some Dawnstone seeds. That way we'll never have to worry about doing Dawnstone again. <laughs> so good, so good. So I will want to go through and 10, 10, 10 these, obviously. Uh, we need to grab some of this stuff. So we will throw those guys down here, put this here, and then proceed to do the same thing we've been doing, <laughs> 10, 10, 10 these guys, and then making a whole lot of Dawnstone. Yep, so that's what I'm gonna spend the next few minutes on. Again, it only takes about five minutes or less uh, with the with the tick acceleration over here. Yeah, and uh, the sprinklers and doing it with the four parents. It really doesn't take very long at all for us to 10, 10, 10 these. So I'll go ahead and finish this up and then we'll be right back. All right, so now that we have all the Dawnstone available, we can freely make things like these Ender Alternators that require a bunch of Dawnstone and not really worry about it. So we have 24 of those, the Ender Crafter, and then we needed that to make the Black Iron. We might actually make more of these Ender Alternators, but that should allow us to do a 5x5 five five of those with the Ender Crafter in the center. I don't know if you can automate this particular block. I know this is similar to like the QED from extra utilities back in the day, but I don't remember this particular thing is automatable. I'm trying to figure out where I want to place this thing. I guess we're going to stick it over here. Yeah, I think, I think over here makes sense. So we'll line it up with that. We'll place that here. And then we need to do a five by five with these things around it. So something like this should be just fine. That should use all of these guys. Whoops, misplaced it. And right there, awesome. Okay, so now we have our Ender Crafter and we have a bunch of the alternators around which should provide the power for this thing. Now comes the fun part. <laughs> so yeah, we wanna make a whole bunch of these black iron ingots. So we need to get all the resources for that. Now I can't remember how much we said that we needed. So I guess we should try and make some more of the extended crafting tier ones. That's a basic, basic crafting. We need two of these. So if we do that, this says that we have the 40 empowered void. All right, so let's grab those guys and then going back to basic. Basic crafting table, we wanted to make two, and we need the blink runes, right? So we need a total of 20 blink runes. So we need 19 more of these. So let's bookmark that and figure this out. So we are going to need 38 more blank slates, which is the imbued inscription tile. Do we have blank slates? We have five. Do we have imbued? Uh, we don't have the imbued inscription tiles. Okay, so we wanna make those guys and that requires us to have the inscription tiles, which means we need iron wood, which we have essence for. Is that gonna be enough, I wonder? No, that's definitely, definitely not enough. Okay, so I need to farm up some more iron wood. We have the seeds over here, obviously, if we have the essence. So I will go ahead and get that going. Let's see. Um, yeah, we definitely need to get all this stuff and that's gonna take a little bit of time. Let me go ahead and finish this up, get like all 20 of these and we'll continue on. 
All right, guys, so I'm cooking up a bunch of endurium right now. If we take a look at the black iron ingots, we can see that it does require four of them per recipe, and I think we needed to do this recipe 20 times because we need 20 blank runes, which means we need 60 of this endurium, which leads me to thinking that we should just make endurium seeds. It is a seed that we have to craft at some point anyway. It is a tier five, and I think this might be our first tier five. Oh, you know what? We can't craft it until we get ourselves the advanced crafting. Never mind. I didn't even realize this. Yeah, so we need to have the gold crafting bench before we can even look at doing this. Okay, never mind. Well, we just made a whole bunch of endurium, so that's another half a stack right there. So we needed 60 of that, and we almost have a full stack. And I think you need 64 to make this seed, so we're pretty close anyway. Well, anyway, uh, so we have, I think, the entire recipe that we need for this. Let's go see what the speed is of this, if we want to make more ender alternators, or we might just take accelerated. I'm not entirely sure, so if we do that, you know what? That's not bad. That's really not bad. What are we missing, though? Oh, I miscounted. I guess we do need a little bit more endurium. Let's grab that as well. We'll come over here, that this uh did it put all of them in there yeah i think that is all 20 recipes okay yeah i definitely did miscount all right cool so we have a bunch of the uh, black iron ingots and we need to turn it into the black iron slate so we saw there were two different recipes for doing it we have the manual one and then the metal press and honestly <laughs> Should we set up the metal press? Like, how much of this stuff are we going to need in the future? I mean, that's the real question, I suppose. Looks like we need the... There's a bunny right here. Uh, looks like we need that for the crafting core. I guess just for the all extended crafting stuff. We need it for the automation interface. And then we're just going to need a few of them. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like we need to set up the automated thing, the metal press at this time. So I don't think I'm going to do it. Yep, we're just going to go ahead and hammer that out. <laughs> so that's magnetic craft, I think, right? Uh, do we have that item already out? We do right there. Okay, and then I just need to grab the hammer, which should be in my pouch here. And that is... Actually, did I take it out of my pouch because we weren't using that anymore? Maybe. Was it in here? It is right here. So this has 72 durability. We only need to do 20... I don't know, does it use a durability every time you right click this thing? Maybe it does. Maybe we don't have enough durability for that one, but honestly, it seems simple enough to just sit here and spam right click a few times to get 20 of these things done. So that's what we're gonna do. Is it gonna break? Are we gonna survive? Ooh. How much more durability? 12 durability. Okay, so it did survive. I wonder if you can, I guess these are not expensive. I was gonna say, I wonder if you can put mending on there. I bet you can. Okay, so now that we have that all done, we can throw those into here. And if I try and do the basic crafting, what else are we missing? Uh, we are missing two more blank runes. Well, I guess that is easy enough for us to do. So I did end up making a few extra of the blank slates and then we just need the orb in there. Awesome, so tier one, no, not tier one. Basic crafting, two of those. All right, start it up, let's do it. Ah, this is just gonna take about three years for it to convert all of the, uh, the planks, but yeah, we should be able to craft it, so I guess we'll be back, guys. All right, so we now have two basic crafting tables. I made myself a block of bright crystal. We have an advanced catalyst, and we need four of these guys now, the advanced components, so we'll craft those up. And that should be everything we need. Oh, no, actually, we need this flex electrum block, which means we need flex electrum, which we can make seeds out of. What tier is that? That is a tier four. So that is something that could be doable. Uh, so if we wanted to make the fluxed in use that is induction smelter with a flux and electrum blend so that means we need buckets of molten redstone or i think you can do that with the fluid transposer right yeah so if we had molten redstone in the fluid transposer we can put that into electrum grit okay well let's look at making the seed i suppose let's go um 
Blocked Electrum Seed. Yeah, because we're going to need to do this anyway for completing all the quests. So that is 36 of the uh, Flux Electrum. So we need 36 uh, Electrum Blend. And can we craft that 36 of them? Yes, we can. Awesome. I was kind of getting worried that we're not going to have enough resources for this. We really need to get our sieving thing going so we can get all the resources here. Uh, so we have that and then we're going to need, is it five redstone per? Was that what it was? Let's go back to this real quick. Yeah, five redstone per. So we need 36 times five. So I don't know however much that is. Redstone something along that line right here. That's a little bit more, I believe, than what we need. Okay, actually, no, it isn't. Uh, yeah, 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 that is. Well, I'll just bring five stacks with me. That's going to be overkill, but we'll get this done. So then we need to take this over and pulverize that somehow. I don't believe we have a recipe to pulverize that, but that's not something that we need to do too often anyway. So we can just throw it into here. Or is it faster for us to do it in the sag mill, I wonder? Let's take a look. Sag mill. Uh, the sag mill appears to be faster, yeah, I think we'll just leave it over there. Okay, so now that we have that, we need to start melting down some redstone. So we need to put redstone into the magma crucible. Then I'll put it over here into our fluid transposer. And then we need to grab our electrum blend. Yep. And then that goes into here. Cool. So we're making our flux electrum blend. Now to turn that into the ingots, once again, uh, in the induction smelter, we just mix it with sand. Okay, that's easy enough. And to combine it to a block, we need the factorizer. And then once we have the blocks, we should be able to make the seed. So I'll go ahead and do this. I'll 10, 10, 10 it like I've been doing. <laughs> yeah, so I'll go ahead and get that all done. We'll be back, guys. All right, I think we have enough flux electrum. I could be wrong, but I think we have enough. Let's turn this off before we completely lag out the game here. <laughs> okay, let me drag this over. Uh, uh, uh drag it over here and then put it all into the applied energistic system okay there we go nice so we get eight of the essence turned into three flux electrum so we should have quite a bit of this stuff awesome and then the extra essence i'll just go ahead and toss because we don't really need it and we don't need these anymore okay so we needed was it one flux electrum block yeah just one so fluxed Oh boy, we got a lot of that, don't we? Okay, we'll put that in here, and then we will combine it into a block, and there we go. Awesome. So that is not crafted over there. That is crafted on the uh, tier one bench. Actually, I might have to make another one of these. I do have to make another one of those. Oh no! Okay, well, I completely space the fact that this has to be made. On the first tier, I was thinking this had to be made in the Ender Alternator or something. Oh boy, so if I want to make another basic crafting, am I able to do this? What am I missing? Oh no, we're missing wood essence, so I guess we're out of wood. Okay, fair enough. We need a bunch more Enderium. Uh, blink runes? How are we doing on blink runes? We need a bunch more of those. Fun. Okay, well, thankfully I went ahead and... I had pre-crafted up a bunch more of this mana infused dust, which should allow us to get the imbued, whatever they're called, inscription tile things, these, yeah. We'll just turn a whole bunch of those into this and we're gonna make a whole bunch of blank slates over there. Oh boy. Okay, well let me go ahead and get this stuff all done here. Uh, basic crafting, one more time. What else are the things that we are missing? So we're gonna need just a little bit of wood essence. So I'll farm up a bunch of that so we can have wood for the future. And then enderium, yeah, okay. I'll be right back. All right, so we have a third basic crafting table. Again, we needed another one of these to craft the next tier, which requires two of these <laughs> basic crafting tables. What a pain. Okay, so there we go. There's an advanced crafting table tier two. So that's pretty awesome. We don't get any quest completes apparently for doing this stuff. And eh, what a shame. Anyway, so now that we have that guy, we should be able to do a lot of things. So we are going to need another one of the advanced crafting tables to make the elite eventually. We'll worry about that later on. Uh, looks like this has opened up the ability for us to do imaginary time blocks, though. So that's pretty awesome. Cubic cluster. I mean, we haven't done any of the quantum flux stuff, but... 
Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Ooh, blue diamonds. So it looks like we're going to have to start getting into Galactic Craft here pretty soon. Uh, automation interface. So the mob duplicator, this was the thing that we were interested in. It's the whole reason why we started down this path was to duplicate pink slimes. But let's just take a look at what else we can do. Hey, remember that garden cloche that we were going to work on forever ago? <laughs> Looks like we can finally craft it now. And that makes it completely useless at this point. Because, like, why would we ever do that? I don't know. Uh, so diamond seeds we can craft. Emerald, wither skeleton seeds, titanium, uranium. Who's anium? Anyway, platinum, iridium. Enderium. So actually speaking of Enderium, I think we can craft this now. I did end up making a whole bunch more of this stuff. We we're running low on lead. That's the only reason why like I didn't make a whole bunch of this before. But then I found out that we had the lead seeds in already 10, 10, 10. So I was able to craft up like four stacks of Enderium. Yep, that's pretty awesome. So Vibrant, and Steel, Terra Steel, Refined Obsidian, uh, Dash, Dredium, Draconium, Yellorium, and Rock Crystal. Cool. So we got a whole bunch of different seeds that we should be able to craft up now. But again, our whole purpose here is to do this. All right, so we need, well, let's figure out how to make some of these things that are a little weird. So crystallized gold. We were looking at this before, and that required a crystallizer. And I don't know if we can craft that. If we tell the system to make ourselves a crystallizer here, it doesn't know anything about this. So, dreadium. We have dreaded shard of abyssal night. So, how do we get dreadium? Uh, there's seeds for it. Apparently, we smell dreadium dust. Transmutating. Ah, so if we do the dreaded shards of abyssal night, we can transmute that into dreadium ingot so i gotta remember how we get these things i think it's dropped from specific monsters is there any other way to get this i wonder doesn't look like there's anything and then the uh the dust is just from the ingot being crushed okay so we are gonna have to go back to the dreadlands and figure out how we get the dreaded shard of abyssal knight and I believe we get that by killing monsters. And now we have looting six, because I think we only had looting three the last time we were there. So hopefully we can get a lot more. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I guess we are off to the Dreadlands. I believe we do have a uh, waypoint there, Abyssal Wasteland. Uh, you know what? I guess I never made a waypoint to the Dreadlands. I know we have a portal here. So we can just go right through that portal into this dimension. Okay, so we gotta figure out how we get ourselves the uh, Dreadium. And it might be these little red guys. I can't remember. Maybe, maybe these guys? We have Dread Fragments. What do these turn into uses? That turns into cloth. And you can do an antidote. You can brew into Dread Plague. You can use it for fuel, apparently. We can upgrade our staff of rending. Okay, well, I'm going to go around and kill a few things. Maybe, maybe something around here drops it. Maybe like these golems or something. Anyway, I'll be back, guys. Aha, uh -huh. so I found two separate monsters that drop it so far. Let's get rid of these guys. So these big boys here, the Dread Guards? Uh, the Dread Guards do definitely drop it. So let me get away from this guy real quick. <laughs> they set me on fire, but it's fine. They're not, like, that threatening. Uh, so we currently have 23 Dread Shards of Abyssal Knight. I come down here and pick up the drops. We now have 27. So, yes, these guys set you on fire. So I kind of want to get them from a distance with with my bow holding my sword in my offhand for the looting effect. What keeps setting my fire? Is it just like attacking these guys with a bow? I guess so. Yeah, they're pretty annoying. I guess I could get... Oh man, I can't see anything. <laughs> I guess I could get myself a potion of fire resist or something to like make this a little bit nicer. But anyway... There we go, we got rid of them. Vindicator on me, and then these little guys too. 
Ah, so many of them. Get rid of them. The hands are going to get me. Okay. So what are we up to now? We are up to 38 of them. Ooh, we got Dreaded Abyssal Knight chest plate. Is that useful for anything? Uh, actually, yes, it is. Hmm. We could uh, mend it and then repair it or whatever. So that's kind of cool. I guess that's a way to kind of skip some of the armor progression if we needed to. So now that we know how to get these things, it should be a little bit easier for us to do what we need to do here. All right, let's get away from all these guys for just a little bit. All right, so we have 42 of these, and again, that turns into the Dreadium ingot, and then we needed, I guess, just 18 blocks of Dreadium in order to make the Crystallizer, and the Crystallizer will allow us to make crystallized gold. So one block turns into four of those, and we only needed two of them to make our mob duplicator. So I think we're done here. All right, so back safe and sound at the base, we need to turn these into the ingots. So if we take a look at the uses, we have to put into a transmutator. Yep, in order to make geranium ingots. Uh, we can use it as fuel, looks like, and it's also a recipe for making the dreaded abyssal knight helmet. But really, we need the transmutator. Okay, so the transmutator is made with corallium brick, some imbued slates, and blocks of refined corallium. I was looking, we only had one corallium or one refined corallium ingot remaining. And in order to get those, we need to make the chunks of corallium, and you get two of those per smelt. And I think that would mean that we get four per smelt over here since we essentially double. Anyway. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this. If we get four per smelt, we got enough. If we only get two, then we need to make more. So, refined corallium. Yeah, it doesn't look like we get double, unfortunately. Okay, so corallium gems. We need to make a bunch of those. We can only make two more. Oh, no. Uh, that's not going to be enough, is it? Yeah, we're going to have to go figure out how to get more of that stuff. So, we're up to 14, and we needed 18 of those. Uh, so this is Corallium. Uh, so the liquefied Corallium ore, I don't think that's what we need. We don't need the pearl. Yeah, we need the Corallium gems. So I think we can mine those in the wasteland. And I think we can mine those in the Twilight Forest. Hmm. Well, we definitely need to get more of those things. Uh, so we have 15, we need a total of 18. Yeah, we need a few more of those gems, unless I have some in here, which I don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, uh, I thought we were going to be ready to go, but we got to go do a little bit more mining, it would look like. So I think we're going to go probably to the Abyssal Wasteland. Uh, this one. And I am more than sure we have already done some mining around here. Oh, that hurt. Excuse me, going down. All right, so this is, yeah, Abyssal Corallium Ore. This is what we're looking for. All right, so we can vein mine that. And there's 29 more of those, but we need quite a bit in order to do what we need to do here. Uh, well, thankfully, there's a lot of it around, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do a lot of vein mining here, and <laughs> hopefully we can get the... Uh, the stuff that we're looking for in a relatively short amount of time. I'll be back, guys. Well, thing you didn't realize is liquefied corallium ore turns into the refined corallium ingot directly, so you can just mine those, and that saves a little bit of time as well. So, yeah, we already had some here. That should be enough now. Refined corallium. Oh, yeah. And I think that doubles or triples or whatever. Yeah, we definitely ended up with quite a bit there. Uh, so refined corallium ingot. So that is really good. Um, so now we should be able to do this. So we needed to put that into the factorizer. Refined corallium. We need 18 of those. Perfect. Combine them. There we go. So we have those blocks now. Awesome. So we have to do the imbued slate, we need a transmutation gem, we need corallium brick, so we need corallium stone, which is corallium cobblestone. And I know we had the corallium cobblestone in here, so let's just do like 16 of them. We don't need too many of that, and then we got to come over here and grab the stone, and then do that one more time. 
Awesome. So that's now all done. So as far as this recipe goes, we're getting pretty close. So we need the imbued slates. I need to go back and get a bucket of liquid corallium and a transmutation gem, which I'm pretty sure we have. Yeah, we can just use like this one or something. That should be okay. So imbued slate, that's a tier three. And then we already have blank slates here. So I will go ahead and upgrade those and we'll continue on. All right, so now we have everything to make our transmutator. Very good. So that was a quest, and the quest is now complete. Let's take a look at our quest section here. So we got that one done, and there are some other quests we did. Delta has our seeds, Dawnstone, Flux, and Copper. So we'll claim those. What else do we have here? Epsilon. Oh, that was from, I think, last time. We did the tiny item IO, apparently. So we will grab that. All of these, I guess I should have taken them out per stage and gotten all these quests complete. We can do that later. Those aren't super expensive. Mob Slaughterer, we'll grab that. Was there anything else in here? Under Psy, we have Ender Crafting, Black Iron. Oh, and I guess I didn't unlock these because I didn't put these in my inventory either. Uh, so we have a bunch of quests here that could have been unlocked. Well, we'll worry about that later, I suppose. Um, so we can put all that stuff away. So now that we have the transmutator, we should be able to put this somewhere. I guess we're just going to put it here for now. I don't know. Does that work? That looks like that goes in there, but I don't know if that works. If we put that in here. Yeah, that's not working. Is it? Okay. So it needs an actual bucket. Uh, so let's do this. If I press V we'll empty that and I'll right click it, grab it. Oh, that Corallium plague. Okay. So don't do that. <laughs> So I'll place the bucket here. I thought that worked. What are we, what are we doing wrong here? Uh, uses transmutator. It says it gives you XP. It looks like it uses the corallium. Do I have to right click that on there? No. So I feel like there's something else I'm missing with this. It's been a minute since I last done this, but I felt like that's all you had to do. Okay, well, let me figure it out then. I'll be right back. The wiki to the rescue. So it says that it can be fueled by any corallium. Uh, any corallium materials like corallium plague flesh and any crystallized elements. I could have sworn that I've used liquid corallium to fuel this before, but apparently it doesn't want to work. Well, anyway, we got a decent amount of the Corallium Plague Flesh, and I think we have enough to finish up the uh, Dreadium that we're trying to do here. But, guys, we are running low on time for the episode. So we're just going to go ahead and end it here. Getting that Transmutator is really good. That's going to allow us to get the other stuff we need. What was it? The uh, Crystallizer. And then next episode, we should be able to jump into the Mob Duplicator. Yeah, I thought we were going to get that done today, but there's just so much stuff involved with all of these things. Yep, it was impossible to do all in one episode. But anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.